Hey guys, it's me again, Shannon. I am back with another video, and this is What's in My Purse video. I haven't done one of these for over a year for sure, and I just wanted to share with you everything that's in, been in my purse lately. Um, I'm still carrying around, I think this is the same purse I did on my last What's in My, what's in my Purse video. It's my Michael Kors, and it's, you can see I don't even have a zip because there's so much stuff in it. Um, Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention my last video, my June favorites. I said that there was one uh, um, product that I had bought, and I forgot to mention it. It is the Glam Glow um, Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Super sexy, super radiant skin. Um, I heard a lot about this on YouTube, and some people that I worked with used it. And because I had that all these breakout problems, I thought, oh, I'm going to try anything. And if that helps everybody else, oh, I'm going to strip my pores full of all the dirt and bacteria, blah, blah, blah. So I did it, and the girls at work were like, oh, you'll see a whole bunch of stuff coming out and blah, 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 blah. And I thought, well, that's really weird because I've never had anything like that except if you go get an extraction or a facial or whatever. Um, so I bought it, and it was like a lot of money. And... It did nothing. It's just, uh, it's got like licorice in it. It's got, I think, sulfur and eucalyptus leaf, bio, leaf cell, science. For me, I would never repurchase this. It's just a standard mud mask. Um, it didn't, I didn't see anything coming out of my skin. Was it a little bit more radiant? I would say not any different than any other mud masks that I've ever used. So I wouldn't spend the money on this. That was my purchase for the month. Anyway, um, let's see. In my purse is, I'll start the first thing that's there, is my wallet. It's a pink fossil wallet. I've had it forever. It's really dirty. I probably could use a new one. I fill it full of tons of stuff and yeah, that I got it. I have like a George Costanza wallet from Seinfeld, if you know what that is. You'll appreciate it. Anyway, um, I've got a pack of nice facial tissues. I got these at Walgreens for, there's a pack of 12 for two fifty, And they all come with like these little cute designs. Some have lips and dogs, polka dots. I keep them every purse, car, my kit, everything. It's awesome. Um... I have pepper spray, which I really don't know why. Um, I don't have any stalkers or I don't feel unsafe, but somebody bought this for me. Um, and so I stuck it in my purse. I've never had to use it, but it's there. Okay, next I have my Michael Kors, which I love Michael Kors. This is the body lotion. My sister bought this for me for Christmas. I think she bought me three, and I, um, this is my last one, and I think it's to here. So I've got a little bit left because I did run out of my Michael Kors original perfume, so this will have to be doing me lately. Um, and then I've got, let's see, an antibacterial hand and skin cleanser. It's really bright in here, so I think I'm casting off a lot of white. I'm um, sorry about that. Um, and then I have, this is a paycheck stub. Um, I have thread for when I thread people's facial hair or eyebrows in my own. Basically, I use that. I have Coors Lip Butter. You can't see it. It's so bright. There's so much white cast off in here. Um, this is in the color Jasmine. I've got, I think, every color. A pair of contact um, container. I got this um, at Hot Topics, when Alice in Wonderland came out. I'm a huge Alice in Wonderland fan. I am Alice. Um, always identified with her when I was young, and I still do today. But I got this lip balm, and that it doesn't really have a color to it. It looks kind of like a cherry color. Um, it's pretty, you know, non-standard, but I just keep it in my purse in case I forgot to put lip balm in there. I have a pen, a blue jelly pen. Um, I've got business cards. Um, 
stop with the um. I've got a little um, manicure set that I got at Walgreens probably when I worked there 20 years ago. Uh, it's got a file, a clipper, and a cuticle pusher in it. Really cute, really thin. Um, I carry it wherever I go because I always get, like, hangnails and stuff. I have, oh, these are my sunglasses. Dudes, let me tell you about these sunglasses. When MTV first came out, they were rocking these sunglasses. And I think it was maybe... Woolworths, when I used to live in Wisconsin, like back in 1985, I think, I bought these, and I had the, this, like, um, hat box, and I kept a whole bunch of stuff from high school, and I found these glasses. These are the best freaking glasses. I can't believe I have a pair of sunglasses that I haven't broken, ruined. They're a little scratched up, but they, ha they even have... Um, the little MTV logo on it, on both sides. And these are vintage, man. Let me tell you, these are what sunglasses are all about, especially in the 80s. And I was an 80s child, so it was all good. Um, I have some the Octane uh, hand lotion. I have... About six of these, love them, love them, love them. I have them by my nightstand and everything. And I went, when I was at the airport, I they had a, this is in Atlanta, they had a store. And so I went and I bought some for me and my mom and my sister. I have, this is kind of like a little note when I write things down um, for, like, ingredients for um, like headaches, um, like different types of essential oils. I have this in my purse. This is a picture of my favorite woman ever, my favorite artist. Um, adore her. She's an icon. Annie Lennox. I'm sure everybody, you have to know who she is. But I think my mom got this um, in a doctor's office out of a magazine because she knew I would want it because I love her. And um, so I, I carry that around. I don't know why. Maybe just for good luck. I have a single bobby pin, maybe when my hair was long. I have um, my Clarins um, Insight Light Natural Lip Protector in 01. It's the pink. I love this. This is very, it's a very moisturizing. I have, okay. oh, this is my hair perfume. Pink sugar. Um, a lot since I ran out of my Michael Kors perfume, um, I have Michael. I have some other perfume. In fact, my sister just bought me um, a Lily Pulitzer. It's called The Beach. Very love it, but nothing compares to my Michael Kors. Um, and this is in a plastic bottle, and I just carry this and spritz it like on my hair um, because sometimes I'm thinking with these breakouts and rashes. I don't really want to be putting anything on my skin. So I've been, I bought that to just put on my hair. And then I have um, rose water that I get at Whole Food. I just missed it on if it's a really hot day or need to refresh my makeup. Um, that's great because it has glycerin in it and rose water. Um, just another list that I need. Aloe vera juice, apples, coconut ice cream, hamburger. Another receipt from Walmart. Um, just wrappers. Good Lord. Um, let's see. Cell phone. My iPhone. I love my little polka dot cover. And then my makeup bag. This makeup bag I've had forever. This is a Betsy Johnson, Betsyville. I think I got it at TJ Maxx for like. $25 at TJ Maxx, but I really liked it because it's got ruffles on it, and I'm a big ruffly girl. So, anyway, inside is my Maybelline Baby Lips. This is the yellow and pink, the bright pink one. Love it. Plus, it leaves kind of like a, it's colored, and it leaves a stain. Um, Studio Care Blend by MAC Press Powder. I like this because I have really dry skin. And I have this, 
um, Studio Fix as well, but this is just a little bit more moisturizing, doesn't look real cakey, doesn't get into my fine lines. So I do like this Care Blend better than I do the Studio Fix for me. Um, I have a MAC 129. I think it's a short edition of the blush brush, but it's nothing like my real 129 that I have. Um, but I just carry it in my purse to apply my blush, and I put the shield over it so it doesn't spray or fray out. Let's see. This is my Chanel lipstick in 94. Most awesome pink ever. I think this was in my favorite video as well. And let's see. Here is, I'm going to sneeze. Me. And I'm not going to edit that out because I don't like to do the editing. Anyway, Max um, Lip Glass in Pink Nouveau. I'm a big gloss person, big lipstick person. Um, Lorax or Lorac Haunt. This is a great pink gloss. It doesn't stay on that long, but I'm going to have like 50 colors. It's a great highlight color for the middle of your lip, or just if you want just a light look for summer now. Um, my NARS concealer in Honey. Let's see. My MAC. This is, I got this in a kit that I bought. It was pink, and it had like a little bow, and it was like quilted. It was really cute, but the bow was broken when I got it, and I'm not a big returner, so... Um, it's a great color, Divine Desire. It's a frost. I don't know if you can really tell the color that well because there's so much brightness in this room right now. Um, and then I carry around my YSL concealer. I like this for um, touch-ups because it's a thinner consistency. It, my face doesn't look cakey afterwards, and I just carry that around. Um, when I do wear eyeliner, I do like, I got a couple of these NARS waterproof long wearing eyeliner. And this is, um, I don't know if that's the name, Larger Than Life. It's like a bronze brown color. I like those eyeliners. Those are really nice. My NARS um, lipstick in Roman Holiday. Love that. Of course, everybody knows about Roman Holiday, I'm sure. And my L'Oreal, it's a lip stain. I think this is, oh, the 189 Pink Rebellion. I don't know if you can see it because of the, but I love those. Those are so nice, and they do last, not all day, um, maybe three to four hours. Uh, so... That's cool. This is really old. This is NARS Striptease, which I love, and I always keep that in my bag. Um, here is a MAC. This is their Mineralized Lipstick, Mineral Rich Divine Choice, another great color. Uh, it seems like all my pinks are the same color, but because I have the, oops, but because I have such pigmented lips, every color looks different on me. I have my NARS Holy Grail. Um, this is Never Say Never Velvet Matte Lipstick Pencil. I have tons of colors in those, and I have some in my kit. And then I have my Urban Decay Big Fatty Mascara. And what I like about this is that because of the applicator, it's, I don't know if you can really see that, it's got kind of like, they almost like little pins. And I can go in if I need a touch-up, and they will actually kind of, it, it kind of breaks down the mascara that I have because of the um, structure of the wand and the pins. And it will kind of re-separate my lashes and deposit a little bit of more, more color um, on there. So I do carry this. It's better than a lash comb. I can't get a lash comb through my lashes. Uh, and then I have, oh. Um, allergy, these are um, homeopathic allergy eye relief because of my allergies, my eyes get all icky in the summer. 
And then another lipstick by MAC. It's the Sheen Supreme. I think it's called Desire A92. This is more like a watermelony color. Ooh, that looks kind of terracotta. It's pink. It's like a terracotta. Or no, like a pink color. More like a watermelon. Very nice. I love these. I have several of them. Love them. And then I have a little thing of coconut oil that I put. It's um, solid. And coconut oil for my lips or like if I get dry or even if I need to restyle my hair or if my hair, I put too much hairspray in it, I'll take just a little bit of the oil, rub it, and it makes like a nice gloss um, in my hair. So I love, I love coconut oil. I'm a huge coconut oil freak. Oh, and then one more thing. I have another NARS concealer in light vanilla. And that is everything that is in my purse. I can't believe I have that much stuff in my purse, but that is it, and I hope you liked this video. I am so glad to be back. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers who have stuck with me. I know I haven't done a video in a couple years, but I'm so happy that you're still here and you're still with me, and you've given me all wonderful, positive feedback. Love you guys. Bye.